Welcome back, everyone. Mrs. Jonestown here. Um, so, I thought it's been a little while, and I have been working on my seaside town. So, let's go for a little walk around. It's, it's pretty small still, so come along with me on this little gander through town. sun is setting. <laughs> Maybe I'll we'll wait till the daytime. But right now, we'll just kind of wander through here. So we're in the main floor of the lighthouse. This is like where the storage is. What I did was, um, you know, the lighthouses are round, so I decided I'd put central storage in the middle. So we have um, all of these. We've got some food here some woods on this side. Here's the sign that I, I'm pretty sure it was Kyle that put this here. <laughs> and yeah, I'm gonna leave it for sure. Um, along with a collection of heads that I've been acquiring. Like, I haven't, I don't know, some people have given me some. I've got, like, gathered some. I'm not sure how I ended up with both of these dragon heads because I don't think I got either of them from the actual fight, but somehow they were in my inventory. So we have some more things here, some tools, some nether blocks, bushes, flowers, that kind of thing to make everything look cool. And then nothing on this side yet. This here, oh my gosh, okay. So this empty space, I was gonna fill it with something else. I'm not sure what yet, but this. Oh man, yesterday, <laughs> so, <laughs> long story short, adventures in Revcraft. Um, but yeah, let's get this, let's get this tour going. Um, so this is the hilltop, and here we'll give you a little backup view of the lighthouse. This is our new sigil for the town. I'm still working on deciding a name for it, but uh, when I landed here, the place was just covered in sunflowers, so I think it's going to be sunflower themed. I've been kind of like toying between the idea of uh, Helian Hel Helianthus, which is like the Latin name for sunflowers. It's like, uh, it comes from Helios, which is sun, Anthus which is flowers, I guess. Um, I thought, oh, that's kind of clever. It might be kind of fun. Oh, right, there's a cave down here, so sometimes you get monster noises. <laughs> um, so maybe Helianthus? Or uh, Port Helianthus, because we're a seaside town. It'll be kind of cool. Um, or maybe Briny Petal, because the sea is briny. And, you know, the spray from the ocean would come out onto the sunflowers on land, so their petals would become salty, aka briny petal. Um, so you guys, yeah, what do you guys think of that? You should leave me a comment below and let me know if you like either one of those, or maybe if you have some other ideas, that'd be great. Let me know. And uh, I'll deliberate on the idea a little bit. Maybe we'll go up a little bit and we'll get like a bird's eye view. So is like, there another portal to the highway? Um, it feels a bit chunky, a bit thick. So I might, <laughs> I don't know, maybe make it taller. Maybe I'll make it different later. But for now, I got this idea off of uh, Instagram. Somebody had made this really cool, like kind of similar wood block with some like growth on it and like broken decrepit stones but I don't think that it lends itself well to this space I think it just maybe needs to be taller and thinner to create like a more elegant look um, uh, this is another floor I believe that's the last one. Oh no I was wrong okay yeah, I made way too many floors. I made this beast of a, of a lighthouse. Um, but here we are. Here's the, the light bit at nighttime. 
as the sun goes down, I have some sensors that'll set it off so it'll start to rotate around. It's pretty cool. It took a while and a lot of effort and a lot of people's wonderful help in order to make it happen and I'm very happy with it. Um, and there is the town below. Um, oh, you heard it. There we go. We got the lights going. It's so nice. But yeah, I'm really happy with how the town is coming along. Um, this is like uh, the first major kind of build, big project that I've, I've worked on in a long time. I usually kind of just putter around and do small projects. So I'm really glad that it's coming together. It, sort of has a good feeling like it's starting to become an actual like, village on an island. Eventually, I think maybe if I get am ambitious enough, I'm going to also build maybe a ship or two. Maybe over here. Big ones, right? Um, but we'll see how things go as we progress. So, this is the island, or not, sorry, this is not the island, this is the library. Uh, you know, we have some nice stained glass, we've got a little wheat field here. Lots and lots of garden around it. Alright, and this leads down to the docks. We'll go down there in a minute, but for now, let's just go around. We'll go inside and have a look. Here's the, the fishing hut. We'll have a look at that next. Here is our library. The local library. Yeah, I don't know. I've tried to make so many different, like, tutorials. Or not tutorials, but like, like build-alongs. And I think that I, because I'm still learning, um, how to, to, um, format, not formats, how to make these things. None of the, like, builds came along very well, uh, in a cohesive way that <laughs> made any sense for, like, building along with. So, uh, you know, that's, like, one of my goals, is to eventually be able to, like, for, you know, make a plan that makes sense for other people to follow along with. And then record that. If you guys are even interested in that kind of thing. Uh, I know like that's what I usually like to watch though when I'm watching Minecraft YouTube videos is you know I want to see what people's adventures are, are like and also like how they build things. So I, I imagine I can't be the only one. There's our view out at the sea. A little study section. Yep, and there's our villagers down below. I'm gonna get some more librarians eventually. Um, but for now, uh, like two or three, maybe, yeah, maybe five. You know, like this is a large library. I like to think that there would be a lot of people doing research here. So, you know, maybe we'll fill it up some more with some more lib, some more studious scholars. Also have a cat. Apparently, this here is our fishing hut. Inside, there's this is his like the fisherman's dwelling. They've got a little barrel inside for storage. They've got a bed. I decided instead of doors, uh, we'll use the gates because uh, then the villagers won't try to leave. It keeps them a little bit safer, even like I think that the majority of the town is well lit enough that. Um, and also, you know, they got a bodyguard. That they're probably safe from mobs, but just in case, we'll keep them into these like smaller spaces so that they don't wander and I don't know, drown themselves or something silly. Um, eventually, though, like uh, so, once we get the whole town done, I'd like to get some like uh, nitwits to just kind of like wander in these open spaces. If they get attacked, I don't mind like having 
to, um, you know, to have some more move into town. But until then, you know, the ones with the actual jobs, I'd like to keep them safe. Uh, here's another one. He's in the actual shop. Hello, good day, sir. I'd like to buy some fish. But you are too far away, so I'd have to come into your shop. Greetings. Salutations. Let's not smack you with my sword. Oh. So, yeah, he's still a novice. All of them are pretty much novices. I haven't really started uh, upgrading them yet. Um, except for, like, the grocer guys. Eventually, I will get around to doing it and making them super cool. But I didn't really like, they're not, um, they're not really like, they're, I want the villagers to be more of atmosphere, more like this is a living town kind of thing. I don't, I'm not here to like min max my, my town uh, because I'd like to go collect the things I need from other shops at spawn from other players. Um, so. I'm not trying to, like, have the best villagers ever. I just want to have some cool, cool people in my town. I like your nose. So this is, uh, there's uh, the library and the stairs that we were at before. And, uh, now we're on the docks. Um, it's still not completed. I think that we'll, like, add some more of these brown dock where this dirt is. Um, and decorate it up later on, but for now, that's what it's looking like from here. <clears throat> so, here we go. This is the back side of the grocery store. And this is the back side of Mason's shop. I'm still, yeah, like, some things will look like they're un unfinished, unpolished, unrefined, whatever you want to call it. And that's because it's all a work in progress. We're still trying to sort things out, decide on looks. You know, I'm probably, will have finished like that library. Who knows? In a couple months, I may be like, ah, you know what? I want to change something about it because, you know, uh, experience or um, inspiration has changed my mind about it. There's the bridge. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll go down that way in a little bit. But for now, here is. So this is the mason shop. They got some, some supplies. I think maybe I might get some tracks to like bind them down to give it a kind of like, oh, these are supplies look there's a little a little workstation we'll get some villagers in here pretty soon one in here maybe one outside that might be a little uh, risky but you know we'll see how things go uh, there's our lovely lighthouse in the distance. One day, I'd like to get a beacon on top of it. Ooh, get like a light shining into the night sky. I think it'll look super cool. So here's our grocery store. Ta-da! We got some meats on a spit cooking away. Here's some fish being cut up on the on the boards. We got barrels of food and are very happy to serve. These are farmers, these are butchers. Still learning their trades. Greenhorns, as they call them. There's, there's my poochie. Ah, thanks Kyle. Awesome. Here is our fashion shop. We can get all the cool clothes, all the hip stuff. Oh, I'll have to like give it a stoop or something pretty soon. 
you would have seen this as we were coming down earlier. There's a cool window with a display in it. I kind of feel like maybe I should have moved this. This shop one block over and made this walkway double. But I kind of wanted it to be like one of those little like secrets, like pathways that only the locals would know about. So maybe it's okay that way. Um, we're back here again at the library. So back to the fashion shop. I kind of want to give it a, like a different name, like something trendy or something. Hello, sir. I would like a green tunic, please. Oh, you want? I don't have that many emeralds to share, so I'll have to save up and come back. Good day. Good day. <laughs> I got a cool... Anna built this one. This was all Anna. Uh, it looks fantastic in here. Um, she even built like this change room so you could try on all of the fashions. Very nice. Very cool. And then uh, here we go. This was, I don't know, this took a little while, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. We got this major uh, smokestack uh, chimney for, I decided that I would build like this huge fire that all three of these kind of like smeltsmen would use so they could share in their shops. But then I gave them each a little section to work in. Like, so these are our weapon smiths working away on the tools of their trade. And then, uh, hey there, armor. Ooh, hey, you got a special deal for me, huh? And then over there, they would be our toolsmiths. You are an apprentice, so are you. Good job, guys, working your way up. And I thought, oh, hey, I mean, like, in order to keep them in, I definitely had to put some glass, but I wanted it to be more open air feeling, so I did leave these little gaps. But yeah, this is the interior of the smithies. And, and this is the main through fair of the town. Up here. Oof, 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 oof. Uh, you know, I'd love to make uh, like a tiny vineyard maybe down this side uh, with some like berry bushes to make it into like uh, pretend grapes. And then on this side could be where our cafe is. So you could look out on the ocean, see the, the, the town over this way, have some tasty treats of some kind. And then cross over the bridge. Now I so I I made like the the basic structure of this, and then Ana came along and like made it pretty cool looking because I wasn't happy with how it had turned out, um, because the shape of it was so strange from the, the the diagonal angle that you have to use in order to make. I I guess I could have made it a curved bridge, but. I didn't think about it until after I had already built it. So, this is Zena's amazing design idea. We have a small mixed garden terrace. And I think I'd like to get some more of them, like on the other side. Uh, some more over, whoops. On this side. And then we can really, like, pump up the, the veggies in this area. Um, definitely we need some more trees. Here is our barn. Open air. Lovely. We've got lots of animals. Mixed sheep. Oh, good job, Kyle. Some cows. Nice little covering pathway. Chickens! Um, 
No, I had like left this space. It was gonna be for like horses and llamas and things, but um, we did eventually like use it as a safe entrance exit for our, our cave. Here, last but not least, the one you've seen before, we did a video on it earlier, is our greenhouse. I love this. I love like using um, oak trapdoors for like breathable walls. Inside, we've got some tool space, we've got some bees, we got flowers. Lovely things. Ah, it sounds like I have some honey to collect. I was saved by a slab, guys. I would have looked directly into that enderman's eyes. No, no, you don't need to make those angry noises. Simmer down. So I had like I uh, had selected this spot at the very beginning to be my shop location, but then I left it and decided I'd build back here. And uh, now that a whole bunch of us have a light tray for flying around, this can be a nice landing pad uh, for coming down from the sky. So here we go, my shop. It's called the uh, the Fleece and Standard. I don't know, maybe it's a little convoluted, but it's like fleeces from wool that you get from a from a sheep. <laughs> a standard's another name for a, a banner, so I thought, I, you know, woolen banners, that's what we sell here. <laughs> I was trying to be clever. I thought it was a little fun. It's different than just saying, ah, it's the, the fleece and it's, it's the woolen banner shop. So yeah, here's the fleece and standard. It's my little tiny shop. We got a bed for those who need to like rest when they're here at the spawn because I keep finding that I'll end up being here and then it'll be nighttime and somebody's like, ah, can you go to sleep? Oh no! Oh, Kyle got smacked. Dang. Um, but yeah, we got all the colors of the wolves. I'm pretty sure we got like all of the banner colors now working on getting like three of each. Three stacks of five of each. Kyle, always saving my butt by sleeping. So yeah, there we go. Here's our town, our lovely town. Helianthus, Port Helianthus, or um, Briny pet what speaks to your soul. Dang, man, what you trying to do over there? Poor guy. Whoosh. Whoosh, whoosh. Thanks for coming alone with me today, guys, and uh, having a look at my town with me. Um, this is the progress that we've made so far. Uh, you know, slowly but surely, we're getting there. Uh, but, you know, it's a game, so I'm just taking my time, having fun, and I'm glad that you guys are enjoying it enough to keep coming back to see the videos. So. Thanks uh, a lot. I really appreciate that. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.